right, we got another white game, and this time we're going to go with the English. Bother that pawn, and he wants to go that way. I think... I'm going to go knight d5. And... I don't know. I don't I don't feel as, as good about it. I know this queen is going to be a bit awkward and it's going to have to waste time at some point. Okay. Hmm. I wanted to sack a pawn there because I felt like I've got some nasty potential with tactics. And if he goes c6 now, I can take. I got a couple different ideas. If h6, queen h5. That would be okay if I didn't have queen h5 stuff. And I'm not too worried about that because I feel like this is going to end in mate or he loses his queen. Where's your king going? King f8, queen f7, mate. King d8, knight f7, check. Winning the queen. Not the best game. A bit messy, but... Okay, and if we go there, queen f7, bishop f6, and this looks pretty good too. Ooh, don't take that way. He did figure out a way to prolong the game a little bit. I was hoping for some kind of Classy finish. I'm just not seeing it. And it's a blitz game. Let's treat it like one. If he pushes the pawn, knight f7 check. And then I can take on c8. That was my main idea with queen takes f5. And if rook f8... I can always go knight f7. Let's go there. Invite everybody to the party. That's a threat. So we'll simply take care of the threat. No reason to be fancy when you're winning. Just win. Hardest thing to do in chess is to win a one game. And the reason we have those types of cutesy expressions is because people mess up winning positions. Rook h8, maybe he starts getting something going. I'm going to go d4, knight's in a good spot. Little bit of extra protection around the king. Not sure where the b's going. Getting some good squares. Up nope, material, trade down. And 
hurt your opponent real bad if they don't want to. I do appreciate my opponent's resilience but it is running out. Like I said, up material, trade down. And this is a fun position. The dynamic is you gotta wait to get squished here. And I was wondering when that move would pop up. And uh uh uh. Okay. Let's see what's the best way to handle the reverse scholar's mate attempt. I found the first move, knight d5. But then the second move, d4, eluded me. Because I did not see past. Check. I guess the problem with the position is white just has too much time here. You can't play a move like this. This knight takes d4. And that. Okay. Probably never see this again. But I'm, I can't say that I'm completely dissatisfied with how I played the position. And nice! I found a first choice move and uh a position that I normally wouldn't. A difficult one with lots of options. Very nice. Found that. Found that. Found that. Found that. Queen g7. Tension moves. And if here... Right. Cute. Cute. <laughs> I didn't lose a tremendous amount of edge. Knight f7. I guess so. Ah. With the idea of captures, we get the pin. And did not hate many of my moves here. Overall, I played more good moves than not, but when the position's this commanding, it's it's hard to mess it up. And it's not gonna like the fact that I, I gave material back. Yeah, eval dropped, plus two. Ugh. But then it sees that everything is well within range here. Plus 64, yes! <laughs> and then, it's a clean up, and we're focusing on time at that point. So a nine average Cinepon loss had one blunder, quote unquote. That was a pretty high quality game. I can feel good about that one.